Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm about to present you 2016 brand new Lada and this is gonna be a full in-depth tour of this car. We'll start up, show the engine, go into some performance details, show you a bunch of interesting features inside and out and so here's the key. Let's start the engine, let it run for a while. Flip key. Very light at the same time, wide opening doors. It's almost like 90 degree, providing easy entry and exit. This car has uh, two airbags, two town club seats. Solid doors, three spoke design steering well, multifunctional, preferred inserts, three to nine, grips up top. Five speed manual transmission. Very nice startup. This car comes equipped with electric assist part of the steering component, very forward steering wheel. Not bad. Horn. Manual tilt only to adjust the uses lever right there. All right, guys, let's send headlight. Air fog light, high beam, soul set slides. Power windows. You need to hold to roll up and to roll down. Manual. Of course, mirrors right there. All right, guys, let's open the head and take a look at the exterior of this car. All right there, tap in the head, hive headlights. Very nice looking tail lights. Rear defrost glass, rear wiper, third brake light, and hinge antenna for the audio system. Rear parking assist, rear fog light. Hug, single exhaust. Five spoke aluminum wheels. 16 inch, drives measuring 205.55, rear drum brakes, the rail tires, beautiful factory rims, head flaps right there, LED 
are still in case, thanks to Terry Mirrors. Very nice. Gorgeous body lines. Halogen headlamps, LED daytime running lights. For the optional fog lights, huge ladder emblem. This car has inline 4, 16 valve, 1.6 liter, normally spread engine, it produces 106 horsepower, maximum speed of 176 km per hour, 0 6 time is 11.4 seconds. Combined consumption for this car is around 8 liter per 100 km. The car is front wheel drive. The fuel tank is around 50 liters. Independent McPherson strut suspension up front and torsion bar out back.
right guys, take a good look at the exterior, let's take a good look at the interior portion, the most interesting part. Very elegant handles. Storage area. And speakers right there. Your tire pressure. Driver's seat has panel adjustment, standard sliding, seat high, recline right there. Seats are quite nice, adjustable headrests and seat belts. Overall, build quality and all the materials are very nice. You can find hot touch plastic, but it's well done. Consider price not bad indeed. It has your light indicator controls, your intimate wiper controls right there, including rear wiper, as well as the driver image system right there. Two buttons, odometer, average fuel economy and current fuel economy. Right now, it's not correct. Distance to empty range, average speed, perhaps time, and set temperature. Very nice system to use, indeed, quite easy to read gauges. And here's your audio controls you can raise and lower the volume, unhook and off the buttons for the telephone, mute, the different saws, rear parking assist, aftermarket rear parking assist, and tweeters right there. This car has six speakers, two tweeters. All right, infotainment screen, disc loader, eject, power button, volume, auxiliary and USB integration, radio, two different settings, six customizable stations, manual tuning, main menu, seek and track buttons, back button, telephone controls, quite nice, very easy to use. And right now it's not activated actually. Sounds very nice. Your electronic central lock. Not bad indeed. There you can find your very easy to use air conditioning, the different modes, face, knee, etc. Front room, and speed control, your recycle settings, rear defrost, and of course your temperature. Not bad. Storage right there. Bar Storage for small items. Two cup holders. Five speed manual transmission. And of course, some automated panel is available. Very light shifter. Very light clutch. And fifth reverse. Once again, first, second, third, half, fifth, and reverse. Nice. E brake. Very light. One cup holder right there.
manual rear view, view mirror, LED map lights up top, SOS emergency roadside assistance, microphone for the hands free, motion sensors, sun visors, card holder right there, warning, vent mirror. Very good visibility. These seats are very nice. With my six foot three statue. Tight support is pretty good. Leg room is more than enough. Shoulder room is okay. Everything is very nice put together here. Hard touch plastic, of course. But it's well done for this price. Good warranty for this car. Not bad in general. Alright, guys. Let's check the back seats, shall we? Actually, the engine shut down after a few minutes because it's aftermarket alarm. Child safety locks, storage area, speakers, manual windows, back seats is default, 60 foot split, adjustable headrest, of course. Like so, child sneakers right there. Back seats also has SFX system. My six foot three stature actually it's quite easy to get in and out, but there is no high room and my headroom is limited actually. Cut hook up top, C belt right there. Nice looking interior, in my opinion. As you can see, the engine shut down. Our center tower. Don't expect to find an armrest in this car. Back visibility is not so good, as you can see. Storage pocket. Right there. All right, guys. Let's check trunk space, shall we? Trunk is small, actually. As you can see, trunk illumination, cargo tie downs, and your barflet right there. Down here, you can find your full size spare tire, tools jack, and convenient handle to close the trunk lid. Your fuel cap, hold it right there.
you can find manual adjustment for the passenger seat, minus seat high. Glove box is not lockable, wood illumination, very deep, as you can see. And of course your manuals, pen right there for the infotainment screen, and your manuals, and of course your service book. It's all Russian specification, of course. Awesome car, love it, just love it. Especially considered price, warranty. Way to go, Lada. Well, guys, hope you enjoy my in depth look at this 2016 brand new Lada. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. Be sure to catch me next time. This is where came from. Thanks for watching and take care, guys.